Hey Capricorn, it's Goddess Puff and this is your next 48 hours for June 26th to the 27th of 2023. <clears throat> Let's get started with an Oracle card message for Capricorn. Next 48 hours for Capricorn. Let me know in the comments how the audio sounds. I got a new mic and I just want to know your feedback. Making sure it's crispy. <laughs> Making sure it's clear. All right, we have two intuition. Four, discontent and boredom. Eight, positive movement forward. And over our energy is one, triumphant success. Uh, triumphant success. And I think because yesterday I recorded your reading, but... I think I wrote underdog for you, but the audio didn't record because I'm I'm still learning. I'm still learning, y'all, <laughs> to how to use this new mic. And so, yeah, I'm going to have to check after this reading to make sure this audio recorded because I don't want to go through recording all those videos again and them being useless. But I think I got underdog for you yesterday. But that's what I'm getting, like, underdog energy with triumphant success and how he's literally underground with the sword coming out. With intuition, I feel like you tr you can trust your intuition at this time, of course, but I feel like you trusted your intuition and that's what allowed you to free yourself. And now you have positive movement forward. I feel like you could have become discontent or bored with a situation, but you are making positive movement forward because you trusted your intuition and you're having triumphant success. Okay, let's get into the tarot for Capricorn. King of Wands, Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Eight of Pentacles. So this is in regards to your work, whether it's creative work or your career, Eight of Swords. You could be overthinking or you feel stuck, yeah, discontent and bored with your work. You're looking for a creative breakthrough, Three of Swords. Because when I raised um, Triumphant Success up, you have Heartache and Loss right underneath. So there could have been some um, type of heartache or loss, whether it's a loss of a job or a relationship. And I feel like for a while it was replaying in your head, but maybe you used work to cope or to move forward. Something about you doing the same job or work every day and it becoming repetitive or boring and it's causing you to like think about this heartbreak over and over again or it's something like that. Over energy is strength, Leo, but you had the strength to triumph over this situation or you do have the strength. I see you making positive movement forward, whether you realize this or not. I feel like you just feel like everything's repeating. Or you're tired of repeating the same situation. You won't trust me. I feel like with the eight of pentacles and the king of wands. Yeah, you showing up as the queen, the king of wands shows that you are in a leadership position or you are in control of your work, yourself, your life, your finances, because you have the strength and capabilities and skills to do so with the strength card. So you are in control. Trust and believe you are in control. You are running shit. All right. With the eight of pentacles, you're running that career of yours. You're running your finances. You got it under control. I just feel like, you know, you have it under control and that's why it's become boring because everything is so like lined up and it's the same thing every day or the same results every time. And you could be becoming bored, but trust me, it's about to change positive movement forward. When nothing is happening, everything is happening. Let's clarify and get more on this. I don't know why I'm tasting bubbles. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know what that, what that has to do with anything. Clarifying the King of Wands, the Three of Wands, your ship's coming in. Exactly. 
Queen of Wands. Okay, this could be your masculine and feminine, very balanced when it comes to creating. Because when you're very confident, you give off this attractive energy. I feel like you're very physically attractive as well, or you're coming into a time where you're very physically, like you're having a glow up, basically. You are glowing. Your aura is glowing. You look good. But I feel like when your masculine and feminine um, wands energy is balanced, you're very attractive and fiery, very charismatic, very outgoing, very free spirited. And this is bringing in a lot of like the three of wands, positive movement forward. But a lot of great opportunities are coming towards you because you give off this very attractive, charismatic, confident leadership, fiery energy. Just a beautiful leader here. Your masculine and feminine is very balanced and that very creative. But I feel like you could be bringing in a very good business partner as well. Be mindful. That's what happened in your reading yesterday. Do not have sex with this person. <laughs> that's, what, that's what came out in your reading yesterday. It was, it was like a strong message of you're very attracted to someone that you work with or they're very attracted to you. Y'all could be attracted to each other. Don't do it. Cause I feel like you can make a lot of money with this person. Over energy is the devil energy. So you are a hundred thousand percent in your energy Capricorn working your ass off making money. That's not a surprise, but I feel like also people could be obsessed with your work, but I feel like there's a very strong attraction that you and this other person have and don't do it. <laughs> All right. Clarifying. Cause that's temptation. Clarifying the eight of pentacles is the night of swords. Focus on your work. Stay focused on your work. Stay focused on your work. I feel like you bored. And this very attractive person is going to, it's giving, oh, this is exciting. Let's focus on this. No, no, <laughs> you're going to do what you want, but I don't think you should do it. The emperor, Aries, clarifying eight of pentacles. Like I said, you are running shit. Your finances, your work is in control. You got it. And you got a win at all costs attitude when it comes to it. And that's why you're winning, period. Clarifying the Eight of Swords is the moon card. Yeah, the subconscious. Don't repeat a mistake of your past. Knight of Wands. Exactly. Don't do it. So if you're thinking about messing with somebody at work or that you work with because they're attractive, I don't care if it's the mailman who drops off your mail. Don't do it. Because this is going to be you repeating a mistake from the past. This is just your shadow side because you see something that's exciting something that's fun right now you are supposed to be patient yeah discontent you're discontent you're bored and this attractive exciting opportunity has shown itself and you know clarifying the three of swords is the six of pentacles because it's just going to be what happened last time king of swords don't do it now for others of you if that's not your situation you could just be working with someone who's very attractive, whether it's on a, uh, a physical level or it's on a career level, whether it's romantic or platonic. There's someone here, an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, who's heartbroken or who could have broken your heart. They're in the background watching and they're, they feel like such, the situation isn't fair. Even if they, if, even if they broke your heart. They feel like the situation isn't fair. They don't even have to be an air sign. It could just be a very cold individual who gave very little emotionally. They're in the background watching and they feel like the situation's not fair because you got to move on. Over on G's, uh, there you are, Capricorn, you have strength. Yeah, someone feels like the situation is not fair because you were able to move on and your finances are in order and you're having fun and you have someone new coming in who's very attractive. You two going to look real good together. Whoever this new person is coming in, you two going to look very good together. I do not advise you messing with somebody from work, but if this is outside of work, you and this person look real good together. Y'all going to be having a lot of fun. It's going to be very fun, very exciting. And I see that you two could make a lot of money together as well. This is all because you have your finances in check. You have your stuff in control and you decided to move forward with your life regardless of what was going on. And I feel like someone from your past or this air sign here, this could have been a very controlling person who tried to control you. Notice I said tried. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, this person is heartbroken because they feel like it's not fair. 
they feel like the situation and, and you could be like, excuse me, what you mean? It's not fair. I feel like they feel stuck while you got to move on. That's what all I'm seeing. They're, they're upset because they feel stuck in the same spot while you got to move on positive movement forward. So this could be the person who's discontent and bored because you have triumphant success. Your ships are coming in. You're working hard and it's paying off. Your business is taking off. Your career is taking off. Your finances are in order. You, Your shit's good. I feel like you are freeing yourself subconsciously. Be mindful of um, boredom leading you to your shadow side and doing things you shouldn't do. But I feel like this person is mad because either they expected you to come back or to feed into their energy. Maybe you guys always came back together, but this time you're not. And this person's just feeling some type of way. All right, let me pull from this deck. Because I see that you're focused on somebody new, someone exciting here. You got somebody new and exciting here. And you ain't thinking nothing about this other person, whoever they are. Or you got someone fun, exciting coming towards you. Even if you are thinking about this person, you don't want nothing to do with them. I just feel like this person, y'all always get back together. So they expected you to come back. And now they feel like, even if they were the ones to mess it up, they feel like they feel like it's not fair because <laughs> maybe this person likes to be in control knife intention conflict resolution yeah they always expect you to resolve it but you resolved it with yourself and moved on teacup ease rest small mind yeah you don't got nothing to worry about you're good because your energy over here you having fun your money's looking great. You have your finances in order. Your ships are coming in. A new person who's very exciting is and attractive is coming in. And y'all look real good together. I just feel like this person is used to you falling into your shadow, into temptation, into boredom, into going back to them. And you're not this time. And this person is, um, they feel like heartbroken. They feel like it's not fair. I just keep hearing it's not fair. Rabbit, yeah, waiting, adventure, making leaps. You're moving forward to some yeah positive movement forward you're you're not going back and this person kind of sick but oh well milk nourishment parents nostalgia this could be affecting this person maybe this person has abandonment issues or maybe you've worked through yours I just keep seeing the tri the triumphant success because you gathered all your strength and you gathered all your energy Capricorn energy they can overcome anything and make a dollar out of anything. You're going to work your ass off, period. And that's what you did. <laughs> you did what you normally do. And you got yourself out of a situation and moved on. And you, you're always going to, Capricorn energy is always going to make a triumphant success. And you have positive moving forward and just someone else just feels stuck. And they could be waiting for you to come back. And they're getting more and more bitter and angry the, as the days go by. And you're not coming back. Oh, trust and believe. If you posting, they're checking and they're and they're pissed. <laughs> Whoever this is, and you're good. Ease, rest, small mind, positive movement forward, triumphant success. You're winning. <laughs> and expect an exciting opportunity to come towards you in regards to career and romance. If that's what you want, we have Virgo. Sagittarius, Capricorn, Gemini. These signs could be anywhere in your chart or in the person's chart that you are dealing with. I'm going to leave it there. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.